This is Tanks Vlog for July 26th, 2018, wrapping up the day in sports. <sighs> See you next September. See you when the match season's already true. See you in 2020 when you'll finally get on your ass and want to play baseball again. You're on assess for this. I don't know how bad his heel is hurt, but how does he get quad hamstrings? Hip and heel. Quads. Hamstrings, hips, and heels. And toes. Quads. Hamstring, hips, and toes. And heels. Quads. I mean, what, what, what? Uh, my heel kills me every day. This left heel of mine is agony. I go to work every day. I walk on it every day. I take some leave sometimes. But now, he's going to have surgery on both heels, sit out the rest of the season, sit out probably most of the next season. Oh, God. Jonas Bonilla. <laughs> he's Bobby Bonilla. He really has more friends than Bobby Bonilla. Another player the Mets are paying not to play. Meanwhile, the Mets say, we're paying money, we're spending money, we're spending money. Yet they're getting the money back on insurance. Somehow I think the Mets actually enjoy that. They, send, they, get to, they get to lie to the fans that they're spending money, yet they get the money recouped on insurance as nobody plays. And we get to watch players like Matt Dendecker. <sighs> and then they call up Jeff McNeil, and they don't start him. They start Jose Reyes instead. Uh, the shit we go through as Mets fans. Not that it matters, but the Mets actually won a series for a change. First time in two months. We. Jose Bautista hit a nice home run today. Maybe someone could uh, want his bat. That wouldn't disappoint me. Of course, the Mets will get nothing back because the Mets don't want nothing. You, you know, they, 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 this familiar trade. Other GMs are going, huh? We would offer them more, and the Mets go, well, that's what we wanted. Woo! You knucklehead. <laughs> Yeah, wise guy, hey! <sighs> Mets don't know what to do. They got three GMs without a clue. It's Omar, John Rico, JP Ricciardi, but they're dancing all night doing the curly shuffle. Hey, Mo, hey, Mo. They don't have a clue. Should we trade Jacob DeGrom for a bag of balls? The Mets don't have a chance to get any better because they got the three shooters running the franchise. <sighs> Yankees continue to play down to the level of their competition. Losing another series in Tampa to the Rays. 3-2. They had the, uh, once again, had the uh, tying and winning runs on base, but Sergio Romo got the job done in the ninth. Uh, Red Sox had a 5 nothing lead in Baltimore. Looked like they were on their way to a win, but then that got washed away. Not that it matters, they'll come back in a month and play the game and they'll kill the Orioles anyway. Elsewhere, 
the Phillies, after uh, their 16-inning marathon, came back just 12 hours later and beat the Dodgers again 7-3. This time, they didn't need to uh, wait until Kiki Hernandez came on the mound to pitch. It was the Indians snapping the 11-game winning streak by the Pirates with a 4 0 win behind the pitching of Trevor, of Corey Kluber. Was it Bl no, Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer pitched. The uh, Nationals beat the Brewers 7 3. Big home run by uh, uh, Bryce Harper, 3 1 homer. It was the Tigers 8 4 winners over the Royals. The Cubs edged the Diamondbacks 2 1. The Twins beat the Blue Jays 12 6. The Mariners won 3 2. To hold off the charging athletics who continue to remain red hot, clobbering the Rangers 6 5. It was the Rockies' 3 2 winners on a Charlie Blackman home run over the Astros. And the Angels beat the White Sox 11 3. With a big game from Mike Trout. Today's three stars are Trevor Bauer, who allowed two hits in seven innings, striking out ten as the Indians beat the Pirates. Tanner Roark, who uh, went eight innings, allowing just three hits with 11 strikeouts as the Nationals beat the Brewers. And Mike Trout, who had four RBI and three runs scored as the Angels beat the White Sox. Today's birthday shout-out goes to uh, one of the top skaters in the history of the United States, Dorothy Hamill, who turned 62. We take a look, and we take a look back to 1948, when a strange circumstance happened. Leo DeRocher managed his first game in Brooklyn as manager of the Giants. At the All-Star break that year, the Dodgers were getting ready to fire Leo when the Giants got word and asked to get him out of his contract so he'd go from the Dodgers to the Giants. This is like basically the Mets firing Mickey Calloway to hire Aaron Boone. I mean, just think of how unusual it is that one day he's managing the Dodgers, the next day he's managing the Giants. And when and uh, when Leo went to go manage the Giants, it turned the rivalry between the Dodgers and Giants into overdrive. Some of the best best games and best years between those two teams happened in the years that Leo DeRocher was managing the Giants. So check out the story at Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia where Sports History Lives. Uh, the podcast finally dropped today, uh, Allow Me to Be Frank. Uh, it's uh, basically a profile of me. So check it out at SoundCloud and iTunes. And have a good day.